How to remove a password if you don't have a boot device. This is Windows 7 and this machine does not have a CD-ROM drive and let's say I don't have a boot USB with me. Now we're going to go ahead and shut Windows down and actually cause an error when we get it restarted. So Windows is shut down, we're going to turn it back on and once we see Windows 7 starting to load that's when we're going to power it off one more time to cause the error. All right, let's see if that did it for us. We'll turn it back on and hopefully we're going to see uh, the startup recovery. So this is what we got. We got launch startup repair, which is what we want. So we're going to go ahead and do that. If this restore option comes up, just cancel it. We're going to wait for this attempting repairs to finish and there's an item at the bottom that we're going to need to continue the process. So here we go, we've got uh, startup, repair can, or startup repair cannot repair this computer automatically, which is what we want. And right here we want to click on this option view problem details down at the bottom we can open this link that gives us our notepad which is what we're going to do what we're going to use to trick the system into letting us in now that we have our notepad up let's go to file and open now we're going to look for our local drive or the C drive. This one actually is a uh, reserved drive so it's not the main partition. So we've got our local disk here. That's the one we need to open up. And we're going to go down to Windows and then we're going to find System 32 in Windows. Uh, by scrolling by the way. Just Taking that down until we see System32, which is right here. Get into System32. Next thing we need to do is change our file type from text to all files because we want a file that we won't be able to see otherwise. Now we're going to scroll down, scroll down to uh, Set HC. And once you get into the files, you can just start typing it in real quick and it should bring you right to it. Here's uh, set HC. I'm going to right click and rename it and I'm just going to rename it to uh, set HC old. Now we're going to jump back up to uh, the command prompt and I'm just going to type in CM. Brings us right to CMD. So here I'm going to copy it and then scroll all the way down to the bottom. So I got a little room. Right click and paste. So paste that in. Now we're going to rename this file to the original name set hc. And click off of it. That is now ready to go that's been done we just uh, go into boot Windows normally so we can just cancel out of everything and restart or you could just hold down the power button and restart it that way let's see how this goes here's Windows starting up and we're just gonna let it start up normally now Windows has booted up normally now and so we can't get into either of those. We don't have the passwords for these users. So what we're going to do next is hit the shift key, left shift key, five times. One, two, three, four, five. That brings up our command prompt that we just uh, renamed. Next we'll do some command lines. Net user. That's going to show us our different usernames. This computer has several different users we're going to choose admin as the one that we want to blank the password on or create a different password to. So next thing we're going to do is net user 
the name that we want, which is admin. I'll do it in caps just because it's the caps there. I'm not sure if that's if it's um, case sensitive, but I'm going to do that. And then one more star, and that will give us the prompt to change password. I'm just going to hit enter for blank, enter for blank, and we should be able to log in now. So we can close this, exit, or you can hit the X. And click admin and enter. And it's letting us in on the welcome screen. And I will leave this running even if it takes a while to load because this machine hasn't been turned on for quite a while. And I'll just speed this up. As you can see, we are now in this machine. It was restored back in 2015. <laughs> and we have access to it once again. Please like and follow if you want to see more stuff like this.